So we have arrived at the brother-in-law for second and third applications. We are putting down today the 101010 and the Spectricide weed and uh, weed stop for lawns. Let's take a little tour and see how we're doing. The short answer is not great simply because it won't rain here. So you can get a look down, a little bit of a color difference, but that's largely just because of mowing. In the backyard's a decent color. You can see I'm a little bit late on a lot of the dandelions. They've all gone to seed, so that'll be an ongoing struggle. But what we can do is we can come in here and we can spray all of that out, get another fertilizer application in here, and it should start to start to really come alive. And we have some rain on the way, so that's why I'm here today. We got rain coming to help water this in. Um, it's going to be long enough from now where the weed killer will be rain safe when we get to go. What is up everyone? Welcome back to our lawn and welcome back to the beginner low cost lawn care program. Today we're talking about and putting down applications two and three which are this guy right here and this guy right here. I don't have the bag anymore because I already put it down and threw it away. So this application is going to be fertilizer and the first weed control. So real quick let's walk back through what we've done to this point. So we have measured our yard you can find that video in the playlist. We have set the plan up. We can put that on the screen right now really quick. You can look at it. You'll find that I'm actually off script currently because I originally said to do this 10-10-10 fertilizer first in April and then the Scots halts in May when the temperatures get there. This was warmer than normal spring. So we did the halts first and now we do the 10-10-10. And then we're killing a bunch of weeds with this guy right here, which is my go-to weed control. It is the Spectricide Weed Stop for Lawns plus Crabgrass Preventer. They also make this one without Crabgrass Preventer. So if you are somebody following along to this program that has bent grass or St. Augustine, that yellow cap's for you. For everyone else, I recommend this guy because it includes Queen Clorac, so it allows us to cast the widest net possible and deal with as many weeds and problem grasses as we can. Let's talk about how. Now, I am making an assumption that everybody following along to this program is a beginner to lawn care and has not taken care of their yard. So I am assuming you have a nutrient, very deficient yard that is only ever seen if you did it first, that Scott's Halts with Crabgrass Preventer to get a little bit of nitrogen down and some potassium. And other than that, it has never seen any nutrients or fertilizer. So that is why we're bringing in the 10, 10, 10, because we wanna just get all of our macronutrients down. And I'm going to say you do this at anywhere from five or six pounds per thousand up to what I did, which is 10 pounds per thousand. So if we do some quick math, those 10, 10, 10, those numbers, that is the percentage of the contents of the bag that are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So if we put down 10 pounds of the total product, 10% of that is one pound. So per 1,000 square feet at 10 pounds per 1,000, we are putting down a pound of everything. So we're just getting nutrients into the soil here in spring, some nitrogen to help growth, get everything growing vigorously, some phosphorus to help root development, some potassium to help heart, plant hardiness coming into the summer. So you can apply that the same way you apply any other fertilizer. We're going to put it into the hoppers, to choose a lower setting, um, something that you know is gonna be safe, go over one direction, throw fertilizer. Back to your previous wheel tracks if you're using a broadcast spreader. Um, see once you're done how well, how much you have left, adjust the setting accordingly, go over it again in the other direction, same process. Then getting into this guy. So if you use this concentrate, you can use a hose end sprayer. However, I would really not recommend it. I would recommend getting some sort of pump sprayer. From cheapest to most expensive, you can go anywhere from a one gallon handheld pump sprayer all the way up through say a four gallon battery powered sprayer. I utilize the four, the four gallon battery powered sprayer by Ryobi with my four nozzle boom and that knocks it out pretty well. What are we going to do? Now, if by some random chance, you're a beginner and you don't have that many weeds in your lawn, I would recommend going out and spot spraying. However, if your yard looks like the project lawn, it looks like this. I challenge anyone to come up with what the difference is going to be between spot spraying my brother-in-law's yard and blanket spraying my brother-in-law's yard because it's all weeds, it's everywhere. We're gonna cover every square inch whether we wanna call it spot spraying or blanket spraying. In both instances, if you are utilizing a pump backpack sprayer, the label suggests 6.4 fluid ounces per gallon to cover a thousand square feet. Now, 
I've just done six ounces because that math is simpler. I believe I actually did 26 ounces, which is about 6.4, um, into four gallons of water and sprayed that evenly across my brother-in-law's house. Now I don't have results yet in terms of how effective it has been, but I do have results for this project that I can show you right now in terms of how effective it's been. This was my own seeding in the front yard last year, got very infested with weeds versus what it was looking like after I applied. So again, 10, anywhere from five to 10 pounds per 1,000 square feet of a 10-10-10 is what we're putting down uh, this month here in May, as well as a blanket application of the Spectricide Weed Stop for Lawns plus Crabgrass Preventer. Then, looking forward, again, we can bring the plan back up on the screen, but with this broadcast application, you're gonna have to be patient. It'll take a couple weeks before you'll really start to see everything die off and start to go away. Um, and we're not gonna get everything. This, this one weed killer application isn't going to get everything, so come June, we're gonna be coming in with a high nitrogen synthetic fertilizer. I recommend the Vigoro 2904 from Home Depot. And as a part of that application, we are going to go out and spot treat any of the weeds that were valiant and survived this first blanket application. That will then put us to our yearly maximum of 2,4 D, so we will not be blanket, up, blanket applying yet again for that year. It will only be spot treatments from there on out. And I, you should really be good enough with just these, the blanket and then the spot treat. So. There you go, there's information for what we wanna be doing here around May for this low cost beginner cool season lawn care program. Again, I appreciate everybody following along to this. I hope it's helpful. Leave a comment with any questions you might have. Um, and yeah, continue to track your progress. And then hopefully at the end of the year, we can let uh, everybody know how well this worked for folks and I will have the results as well. So we can leave you with what the lawn is looking like over there right now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.